Hi guys, welcome to Concarneau in Brittany. Today, Naval Group is hosting the launch ceremony for Vlissingen. Vlissingen is the first mine countermeasure vessel for the Royal Netherlands Navy and the second ship of the Belgian and Dutch RMCM program. Vice Admiral Tass, good morning. Good morning. You are the chief of the Royal Netherlands Navy. What is your feeling today on this important event? Yeah, uh, well, great joy, I think, and, and also pride that, that uh, within time uh, we have uh, um, developed together with, with, with France and Belgium a ship that really matters. Because if you look at, at security in the world at, at the moment, then it's, it's even more important than ever to have um, uh, good ships that are fit for purpose. And these ships are, will be fit for purpose once they are deployed to the Netherlands and Belgium. How important are these ships for the Royal Netherlands Navy? Would you say they represent the first step in the renewal of your entire fleet? Yes, they're, uh, they're the first ships together with one of the combat support ships we're building at the moment. Uh, and the whole, the whole fleet will be re rebuilt and will be renewed in the coming 10 years. But it's not just for the Netherlands, I think it's for Europe, it's for, for the, the Allies, for, for NATO. Uh, because we are depending on, on uh, uh, commercial traffic at sea. Uh, not to get the goods in Europe, but also to make sure that our pipelines on the sea bottom are safe. And these ships will uh, uh, be a great contribution to making sure that our seas and sea bottoms are safe the coming decades. Olivier de la Bourdonnais, good morning. Good morning. You are the head of surface ships at the Naval Group. How important is this program for your company? Uh, this program is very important for Naval Group for two main reasons. First, it is the first program of this new generation for the mine warfare. So uh, with this program, uh, for the Belgium and the Netherlands Navy, in fact, we are entering in the what we call the standoff for the mine warfare. It is also very important because it is the first time, in fact, we design and we build a boat that will um, uh, operate so many uh, unmanned vehicles in three dimensions, so UAV, uh, also some, some uh, unmanned vehicle on surface ship, USV, and also under the water, UOV. So we are really entering in the new way of thinking and operating, in fact, at sea. So this program is not just about uh, the Netherlands. Today you ceremonially launched uh, the first uh, Dutch vessel, Flissingen, uh, but last year you launched uh, one for uh, Belgium, Ostend, and recently, uh, I believe at the end of August, uh, France announced uh, that uh, they signed an MOU uh, to join the program as well and adopt the same design for their own uh, MCM vessel needs. Uh, so that's a significant uh, program for Naval Group. Can you tell us a little bit more about uh, that upcoming French requirement known as a BGDM? Okay. We, we have uh, uh, been ordered already 12 ships for, Bel for Belgium and also for Netherlands. So it's, it's quite an important program for Naval Group and, and its partners. We are really now, um, in the, I would say, in the deep of the construction. Uh, Ostend uh, uh, has been launched at the beginning of the year. Now this is the second ship that is launched. We have more than six ships now in production. But you're right, on top, uh, now we have the perspective also to add an additional order uh, from, from France uh, who has decided to join the program. They sign a memorandum of understanding with Belgium and with Netherlands. And now France will enter, in fact, is this very important program for us. Uh, and we share, in fact, it is in the continuity, uh, I would say, of the cooperation between these three nations. But now it's materialized by this MOU. And uh, France will order six additional ships. Well, Olivier, last but not least, uh, what's next for uh, Vlissingen? Uh, when is it supposed to start uh, sea trials and eventually be delivered to the Royal Netherlands Navy? Yeah, so uh, no, the, the launching is really very symbolic. Uh, so it's, uh, uh, I would say there is also some emotion, in fact, with this, uh, because it's the first time, in fact, the hull become a ship because it is now, it is, I would say, in its element, the sea. But of course, uh, uh, many, many things remain to do. So uh, now we'll continue the armament. Uh, the first seagoing will be next year and it will be delivered to the Netherlands in 2025.